Footmas has officially started guys every single day leading up to Christmas EA are releasing new SBCs So yesterday it was the 16th and they brought out three players that wear the number 16 The two that I picked up were the generals of the midfield De Rossi and Parolo today I saw a Bamiang tomorrow is gonna be the 18th Who do you think they're gonna release? Let me know in the comment section if you can smash the like on the video today We're gonna take a look at the team that I use and have a look at the two new cards because they look pretty damn awesome If you're needing game codes or anything game related Make sure to head over to G2A.com, use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount, stock up on PSN, Xbox Live codes, you're gonna need them, packs are on their way. Let's get into it. The formation that I used the two generals in was the 4-3-3, number two, the defensive 4-3-3, and Daniele De Rossi absolutely loves that. To be told to stay back while attacking so he can break up the play, and Parolo in that centre mid position was putting in a heavy shift. He doesn't mind going up and down the pitch, and he was basically the centrepiece of the attack. Let's take a look at Daniele De Rossi first. 85 rated. I'm a huge fan of his non-informed card. The only issue that I have with it is towards the end of the game, around about the 75th minute, you start to notice the stamina levels. Really, really poor. You're basically forced to sub him off. Otherwise, if you don't, he is not going to be effective whatsoever. With this 85 rated SBC card, all that I was wanting from it were his stamina levels to be increased because you already had a good card anyway. His pace was fine, his defending, his dribbling, and look at this. He's got boosted in every single stat. He's his pace is great shooting not so bad he actually scored a decent goal where he took his time making an intelligent run it was Parolo holding up the play he uh, was well, slotted it through to him and he put it underneath the keeper good goal so yeah his passing is decent dribbling 75 on a CDM is great and the 85 defending and 86 physical just looks insane so yeah six games one goals one assist and he just is the perfect CDM it looks amazing taking a look at Parolo though wow Wow, wow, wow. I loved both of these cards anyway before they had any special version. 84 rated with those stats. You can play him as a cam, a center mid, a CDM, an attacking CDM. He's just one of those well rounded box to box players. He's got good pace, good shooting, good passing underrated dribbling you're going to be seeing that in the clips in a second decent defending and fantastic physical stats six foot great work rates six games four goals three assists and these were all played in the weekend league on my main account i just get into the weekend league and whether or not i want to try out new teams or just try out a player in general i will go and play the weekend league when it's available so this is the team going through it in goal we have romero i used him just because I was uh, trying to save some coins. <laughs> I would have brought in De Gea. Romero is a good keeper though. I remember coming up against him in the weekend league and I lost the game on my Road to Glory account because he was so overpowered. Right back position, Florenzi. We have Bailly that I don't use too much just because he does have high attacking work rates. He isn't bad though. He's a, he's a solid defender and partnered with Smalling, you're going to have no problems defending with the side. Alexandro left back position, really do like him. And then in the midfield, we have Marquisio, Perolo, De Rossi. Awesome. Just fantastic. Those three there, the Italians, are just fantastic, really. In the right wing position, Sterling for that pace. Harry Kane, he's a slug. He's not even that good. I I'll be honest, I thought he was very sluggish. His shooting wasn't to the point where you can get away with using a target man because his shooting is so great. I'd much prefer to bring in a player like Benteke who can hold it up but also has a good shot. In the left wing position though, we do have the clinical son. He just gets goals all the time for me. He's awesome. So the player instructions that I decided to use for the team itself was for Harry Kane to be a target man. Maybe it would have worked if I just told him to get in behind even with the lack of pace. I didn't really want to do that though. With the wingers, I told them both to get uh, in behind. Parolo, no changes to him or Marquisio. CDM, stay back while attacking. And the fullbacks to stay back while attacking. It actually played pretty well. The only bad thing about the team was Harry Kane up top. And that's an easy change, really. So let's get into some of the clips and see if it's worth... Well, unlocking them in the SBC. It would have been too late now anyway. Hopefully you've unlocked them. Let's check them out. So it's quite easy to overlook a CDM as they're not really getting on the score sheet. With Daniele De Rossi though, he was sat in that CDM position doing work and putting in some good performances. His defending interceptions tackling very very nice and his physical stats were already very good that's why i like the non-informed de rossi what i was looking at is whether or not the stamina bar around the 85th minute was a, a good level and i checked parolo marquisio and i compared the lot and his uh, stamina bar was just under 
a quarter of the way, which is fantastic. Usually it would have been gone and you would have been forced to make the substitution. I would still advise to have just the switch in case you are willing and wanting to see up a game, bring on someone like Medell or even Kante if you've got him on the bench. De Rossi though, you aren't really forced to make that sub, which is fantastic. So already this 85 rated squad building challenge version was worth it and I'm so pleased that I brought him in. I would have done it anyway, even if he was bad, just I've got a nice CDM at the club that I can fall back on. So De Rossi, he was worth it. He's a solid, solid player. Moving over to Parolo though, and this was the major increase. I noticed it straight away with Parolo. He felt just insane. His shooting as well, like most of the time on FIFA 17, I would never even go for just the power strike outside the box because usually, more often than not, the keeper's just going to pull off a big hand and use the same animation where it goes out for a corner. Parolo though was finding the back of the net. His finesse shots as well going through, his across shot goals, his strength, his pace. He feels very, very good. I wouldn't even mind well, it's now the 17th, so I've missed out on the opportunity to bring him into the uh, ultimate road to glory. He's actually a very good player. And I personally believe that I would much prefer someone like Parolo over Marquisio on this game this year, which is a bold statement because Marquisio is 86 rated. Parolo, though, was just showing some great attributes and stats, really. His finesse shots, like I said, his hold-up play, his defending, he is just that box-to-box -box player. I prefer, actually, because he has high to medium work rates. So more often than not, he is going to be trying to overlap and get involved in the play and you saw in the stat screen he was getting assists getting goals and good quality finishes as well and his dribbling the LTRT pulling it back under control that was seriously underrated so my advice is well a couple of days ago if you had the option to go for De Rossi or Parolo Parolo you will notice a difference straight away although De Rossi you're really bringing him in for that stamina increase so two very good cards in the SBCs I will be unlocking some more so uh, stay tuned uh, to the channel and if you have enjoyed guys make sure to drop a like let me know if you're going to be unlocking any in the near future and i will see you very soon with some more ultimate team content thanks for watching team out Peace.